hello guys in this video tutorial we are going to implement the str str or also known as index of of java even though the terms are used as haystack or needle uh, basically we are going to implement the index of let's see the examples from looking at the example number one we can see that when the input is hello and we need to find the needle of ll it means that we uh, we are supposed to output the index 2 which means that from the index 2 of haystack the ll is followed it is the subset it's a, it is a substring of uh, um, haystack and in the example number two you can see that uh, the needle is nowhere to be found in the haystack that's why we are outputting minus one so let's implement the solution I have set up a main method of Java which we can run and pass the inputs let's create a static function which you can remove on the static word afterwards str str is, a, is the method name we are going to input the haystack and the needle let's call that let's uh, give the example of hello and ll like uh, we were given in the first page if let's consider the uh, scenario when the needle is empty that means that we need to return zero it means that needle is empty and it, it will it, 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 it matches at the first check and let's uh, grab the length of haystack and needle and give them their variable names halen halen and needle length and also grab the first character from the needle so that it will be easier for us to check inside the for loop Now let's uh, let's construct a for loop, which will revolve until the hay length minus the needle length plus one is given. One is uh, we are putting one because of the index. And keep in mind that when um, the needle length plus one is exceeded, it, it we can't find it because uh, it its length won't be found after that if haystack's character i is equal to the first character then we are we will be checking if the preceding characters are also equal we have checked the first character now the now our task is to check the remaining characters and we are getting the pointer as one because uh, we uh, have checked the needle index one zero but uh, now we are going to check further when the pointer's length is minus the needle length and i plus pointer is also less than halen we will be inside this because we don't want to have the index out of bound exception and we will be checking haystack so character of i plus one pointer to the uh, needle length character of the pointer We are basically checking the uh, remaining characters after the first character of the needle. If that is the case, then we are going to increase the pointer's value. And if the pointer's length is equals to uh, to the needle length, then we have found that if if uh, none of the condition match, then it, there is no match. Let's run the program and see. So yes, LL is in the index of two of the haystack. So now let's analyze this code in deeper manner. This check is done if the needle's length is empty. If it is empty, then the first index is the index with substring 
match soft soft string and these two variables will be storing the length of haystack and needle for our convenience we are storing them and making them variables and we will be grabbing the first character of needle which in this instance it is the l the first character of needle is l storing it in first character variable and inside this loop we will be starting from zero and we will be increasing until the um, the eyes index is less than hay length minus needle length plus one this is done because um, we don't want to we it is surely that after we cross this let's suppose we didn't find it until here and the needle and we have come here and if there are two characters in the needle then we are at the almost end then it is surely that even if this first character matches with this the remaining character will not be found that's why we are doing this optimization and we are first uh, we are checking the character at the index uh, for in the initial phase when the i is zero it will be checking h with l it won't find it and it will increase until it gets here it will check if this l is um the index the character of the of the index is equals to the first character if it is then we will go inside it and uh, as we have found the first character is equal we don't need to check it again that's why we are creating a pointer of one which will which will be checking if the preceding characters are equal or not and it will check until these the preceding characters will be equal and we are we are checking this uh, we are doing this conditional check uh, to check if the index out of bound is if a index out of bound will cause then it will occur then it won't it will prevent it that's why we are implementing this the main condition is this one if we have found it then we are increasing the pointer and if the pointer if pointer stores the number of similar characters if the pointer is equals to we don't need to equalize it but uh, greater than we don't need to check it but if it is greater than or equal to needle length then we will be returning the index of the starting character from where we started and if we have completed this let's suppose we have completed this uh, for loop without and we have not found the the soft string then we will be ret returning minus one hope it makes sense if you guys didn't understand it then i have put a GitHub link, you can check it. Thank you so much.